Today I want to introduce you to this material. This is our checkerboard. And we use our checkerboard for long multiplication. But first, let's get to know this checkerboard a little bit. So you see we've got numbers down here along the bottom. And we've got numbers along this side as well. And you can see some colored squares. We've got a green square for our units here, blue for tens, red for hundreds, and then units of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and we go all the way up to 100 million on this board. Let's see. Now, the thing about these squares is this certainly is a 100 square and everything else on this diagonal is also 100 square. Everything else on this diagonal is tens. Here, this is all millions. So the, they get the value from the square here at the bottom, but you can trace it up on the diagonal. So I wanna show you how we read numbers on the checkerboard. So I have my bead bars here. And I'm going to put this bead bar here. That means I have five units. But if I put the bead bar here, it means I have five hundreds. This is 500 because it's the hundred square. Here it would be 50,000. What about here? We'd have five million. Let me show you something else. If I place this bead bar up here on that square, I have to slide it down on the diagonal to be able to read its value. This is 5,000. So it's the square that tells us the value. The bead bar will tell us the quantity, but the square is going to tell us the uh, which family it's in, whether it's in whether it's hundreds or hundred thousands. Now, another thing we need to know about this is that we can have more than one bead bar on the, on the board at a time. So for example, if I put this here like this, I would have 52. If I move it here, it means I have 5,200. Uh, if I did this, this means 5,020. Would you like to choose some bead bars to put on the checkerboard and see if you can uh, name the value? <laughs> 